That's my hearts with mustard. That's what I wanted. Okay, well, here's the start of my Walmart haul this morning. I got a big bag of honeycomb and a big bag of cookie bites for the kids so they'll have cereal for the weekend. They got this big giant pack of rolls, like to make mini subs for the kids. Th that's affordable bread. Walmart makes affordable affordable bread and it smells fresh too. Mm, so good. And <coughs> got the kids some of these checker rally fries. They these are their favorite. And I got them some country time lemonade. My daughter really loves um, these canned cinnamon rolls, so I got a twin pack. And I got some canned biscuits because every now and then I want to make the kids uh, biscuits and eggs and bacon and cheese biscuits. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. Yeah, let me say it straight. And then I got some cheese. I got sliced Colby Jack, sliced provolone in the 24 packs. They're uh, $4 and maybe 24 cents for a pa family pack. And I got, well, I already showed you the biscuits. And I got two bottles of, I can't believe it's not butter. That's what my kids like to spray on their corn on the cob. And I got a 15 pound, no, no, it's a five pound block for $15 of Deluxe American Slices. I'm gonna store them in a container with a with an airtight lid so everyone can um, have American cheese whenever they want it on some a sandwich or something. And I got some sliced gouda because I like sliced gouda, and I got Swiss for me as well. Um, my husband has uh, noted that he likes pimento cheese. I got some regular and some jalapeno and he can eat that with Trisket. And I got myself some Rebel ice cream, the one with peanut butter and caramel chip and the birthday cake. Those are my two favorite. Um, these are, are keto and lactose free and full fat. So I try to pick three grams or less. Some of them have more, uh, grams of carbs and I I just avoid those and get the ones with lower carbs. There was one with nine and I said, why is that called keto? I don't think that's very keto friendly. And then I got some huckleberry um, sparkling water. I got six of those because the kids will drink it too. And I got four of these because the kids will also drink this. And I prefer them to drink sparkling water over soda. And I got myself some ice with caffeine. And I got the strawberry citrus flavor because that's my favorite flavor. They do have other flavors. And if you don't like this one, I, I know they have black raspberry and blue raspberry. Neither of those is my favorite. But I'll take the uh, black raspberry if I can't find the strawberry citrus. And... I'm not a fan of blue raspberry, although my kids are. And I got two bottles of this um, Slap Your Mama seasoning because I'm out. And I got some evaporated milk for my coffee, some more salt, and I got some oil. And I got some grape juice. And this oil is for frying chicken. Fridays I fry chicken for the kids. I've been trying to take a nap all afternoon and I, I can't because my feet are burning so badly. And there is really, I just don't know what to do. They just hurt and burn. And I took some medication for pain and it's not helping. And I don't know, I'm going to put some of this, um, a and D diaper ointment on my feet because that helps 
a lot. I don't know if it's the act, act of rubbing or if it, or what it is. This um, diaper ointment does not have a very good smell, um, but I like what it does to my feet when I use it. So, it has a, it has a fairly medicinal smell. I just put a thin layer of it on my feet and it helps. I don't know if it's the act of rubbing or if there's, if that ointment is actually what's helping, but uh, that ointment is the reason I don't have cracked heels, painful bleeding cracks, because I use diaper rash ointment. I just got it out from under the bathroom cabinet because I bought it one time when the kids had sunburn and I, I was trying to help their sunburn and I didn't know what to use. So I bought some of this that time and then it was under the cabinet for a long time in the bathroom until I realized that it helps my feet a lot. I don't have much feeling in my toes. I can barely feel myself touching it. It feels like from uh, the feeling I have in my toe is that um, I'm rubbing a caterpillar. I mean, it doesn't feel like I'm rubbing my toes. So, um, Ouch. On my fingers, I feel that I'm rubbing my toes, but if I'm guessing what the inside of of my toes feel like, I, I think it feels like I'm rubbing caterpillars. Thankfully, they're not hairy. <laughs> <gasps> then I'd have hobbit feet if it felt like caterpillars when I touch it with my fingers. Sometimes my hands burn too, but my feet have been going crazy for a little while. Uh, in Kentucky, I don't remember that my feet hurt all that much in Kentucky, but I remember having a lot of pain in my back. The doctors kept asking me if I feel pain going down my leg. And I said no. But when that neurologist stuck needles in my back to uh, to shock my nerves, he, he didn't see very much reaction like he should have. Look severely damaged when he put it in my back. <sighs> when I move my toes, it doesn't feel like moving my toes. It feels like uh, woolly, uh, thick like they're coated with something thick and woolly like those uh, socks with toes in them but I don't have anything on my feet except for this stuff but even without it sometimes when they rub together they feel like sand like there's sand between my toes and there isn't So, um, I wanted to show you and tell you what it feels like. Uh, I can't sleep when, when it it's fired up. And I don't know what causes it to fire up either. That's my lef leftovers from the fridge that I had uh, pre-made some keto food. 
This is my um, leftover potato salad. It's like potato salad, but I made it with cooked cauliflower florets. And that is my black soybean baked beans with some cheddar cheese on top. I didn't have any weenies to make beanie weenies. So I just have barbecue beans with cheddar cheese because barbecue and cheddar go together well. And here is some leftover boiled hearts, lamb hearts with some uh, spicy brown mustard. So this is my uh, meal. And I put a little horsey sauce on top of the potato salad because it was a little bland. So I, I had found that when I went to the salvage store with my sisters in Kentucky and I brought it back with me and it gives a, it gives a potato salad a boost, a potatoless salad. <laughs>